So I have my first abstract math test coming up on Monday. Today is Thursday afternoon and I've been in the process of um, studying today as well as you know the, the previous several days for this test. Um, so I just thought I would share very briefly how I've gone about doing that. Um, a big thing that I've been relying on heavily is flashcards. Um, I don't know the exact format of my tests, but I was told explicitly that uh, they're just straight up definitions on the test and I need to be able, it's not multiple choice, I need to write down um, the definition of something verbatim. And really the only way to do that is to, is to, is to pull out the flashcards and look at them a thousand million times. So I got a bunch of those. It involves um, stuff like biconditionals, disjunctions, conjunctions, other uh, terms from logic, necessary and sufficient, union, uh, set union, set intersections, set complements, subsets, proper subsets. What else do we have in here? Common logical notions like uh, modus ponens, modus tollens, contrapositives, uh, the definition of an example, the definition of a definition. <laughs> I, I have a list, um, basically a word bank that I know the definitions are going to come from, but a lot of this other stuff, it just, I need to know anyhow, so I may as well try and learn it in the same fashion as everything else. Because I have to be able to look at the notation for a, a proof or an argument or whatever and know what it means, obviously. Um, I have to know what a union is or an intersection or a complement and stuff. And I, I, you know, I may as well do it like that. I did the homework. Um, he gives us a lot of a lot of class time to do it. The first class meeting, I was able to do it all in class, so I didn't have anything to to bring home. But yesterday, I did not finish it in class, so I spent probably a half hour and forty five minutes uh, doing it on my, my on my whiteboard, which I ended up enjoying a lot. I really like writing proofs, but they're also really basic, just as elementary as it comes. Like it doesn't it doesn't involve any like properties of multiplication and addition and inverses and all that other stuff, which I know is going to be in the next chapter, and I'm not sure if it's going to be tested or not. It may be. If I had to bet, I would say yes. So I went ahead and, and read that chapter in advance. I'm, I'm going to hold off doing the homework until tomorrow afternoon because I don't want to do it the wrong way because I'm not sure what I'm doing, but I did read it. And what I'll also probably do is go back and do the homework that I completed yesterday all over again from scratch. Like just to be good with it. I've, I feel very confident about it, but I've said that before. And I'm just going to do it until, until I can do it with my eyes closed. And he has very particular ways he wants things done. So I have to make sure that, you know, I'm, I'm numbering the lines in my proof and I'm referring back to previous lines properly and he's a stickler about not listing all of your givens first and only listing them as they're used or needed. Um, so I have to keep that in mind as well because I don't want to lose points to something stupid like that. Additionally, I've been, it's kind of a bad excuse, but I've been using this class as an excuse to read proofs for high level things that are way above my head. Like I was um, just looking for a proof of Brouwer's fixed point theorem and some other ones. I, I'm, I know I'm not doing any of that in this class, but it's, it's interesting to see, you know, the creativity behind stuff and the, the thought process of the people who came up with them and the differences between one proof over another. I mean, I can, you know, people devote their whole lives to that kind of stuff. And I'm kind of considering it a little bit right now, I guess. That's more or less it. I mean, this is a very large portion of my studying all these cards. I've got probably 25 here, if I had to guess, 20 to 25. So I'm just doing that a couple times at a time and then I'll take a break and go do some chores or run an errand and then come back and do it a couple more times. Then maybe just read the chapter again just to be on the safe side. But it's so, it's so Barney style that like reading it is basically not necessary. And some of it I already know because I took a logic class last uh, semester and that was way more uh, in the weeds and this class ever will be as far as formal logic and syllogisms and sentential logic and all of this inductive versus deductive and like the whole, no. My, my professor isn't interested in that, thank God. But that's more or less it. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.